Good day once again. My name is Graphics. Today we'll be looking at temperature measurement. Where we'll be looking at a resistance thermometer because we know temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body, right? And we have some devices that we use in measuring temperature. One of those devices used in measuring temperature is called a thermometer. And we have different types of thermometer. We have the liquid in glass thermometer, which can be divided into the alcohol in glass or mercury in glass thermometer. We have the constant volume gas thermometer. We have the pyrometer, which can be divided into two, which is we have the optical pyrometer. And we have the radiation pyrometer. Also, we also have a resistance thermometer also which will be what we'll be looking in depth today. Now, when you talk about resistance, resistance in general terms is the opposition to the flow of what? Of current, of electrons, right? Now, if you look at the factors that affect the resistance of a material, we have what is called the cross-sectional area, we have what is called the length of the material, we have what is called the nature of the material, I will have what to call the temperature of the material. Now the aspect we'll be looking at there will be the temperature of the material. Now we have realized that the higher the temperature of the material, the higher the resistance of the material. The hotter the material gets, the lesser it conducts electricity, conducts current. And when, um, when the current tries to pass through, when it restricts the current from flowing, what happens? It dissipates what is called heat, right? No, now there's that means that there's a relationship between temperature and resistance, right? And the relationship between temperature and resistance is giving us what R T equals to what R naught into bracket one plus alpha T. This is the relationship between temperature and resistance so let's not take an insight on this example one we are told that the resistance of a resistance thermometer measured at 20 degree and 100 degree are 1 ohms and 1.39 ohms now what it means is this it says the resistance thermometer measured at 0 degree that means at arrow knot, let's put the data this way. That means at arrow knot, right, arrow zero, the resistance is what? One ohms. Is what? One ohms. That means if at room temperature, at initial temperature, our resistance is what? One ohms. And at zero, 100 degree, the resistance at 100 degree is what 1.39 ohms 1.39 ohms that means when you heat the material to 100 degrees centigrade the resistance will be what 1.39 ohms right successfully let's say assuming the linear relationship between the resistance and the temperature determine the corresponding temperature when the resistance of 3.2 ohms is measured now as you look at this now our rot here is given as what resistance temperature of the reason the temperature of the material the reason of the temperature at a particular of the particular material right so we say my ROT is the resistance is the resistance at what resistance at temperature T to the resistance at a particular Temperature that is our ROT. Why the R naught is giving us um, resistance temperature at zero degree. That is the initial resistance. So resistance temperature at zero degree. Right? So we'll call it the resistance temperature at zero degree. Now we move further. Now, if you look at this very well, if I input my value here, 
we have we are giving R naught and R hundred here, right? So we we'll say that our R hundred because the temperature T is what hundred degree Celsius. So we'll go in here we see our T. So we we'll say the R one hundred by putting all these values into our equation here is giving us R naught into bracket one plus what alpha into bracket one hundred because anywhere I see T I put one hundred. Now the alpha here is giving us what coefficient of resistivity the coefficient of resistivity this is what our alpha it can be alpha it can be any value now if you your arrow the resistance at temperature 100 degrees cents, um, centigrade is what 1.39 so i have my 1.39 equals to the resistance at zero degree the initial resistance is what one ohms into bracket one plus 100 alpha right so from here so from here we'll be having so from here i'll be having 1.39 equals to one times one is one plus 100 alpha right so from here if i collect my like terms my 1.39 minus 1 is equal to 100 alpha so 1.39 minus 1 will give me 0.39 equals to what 100 alpha if i divide both sides by 100 i have 0.39 all over 100 is equals to what alpha so the alpha here which is the question of resistivity will be giving me 0.0039 per degree celsius because the unit for resistivity of will be giving me what Per degree Celsius. Now, haven't we we've calculated for kosher resistivity? Now we are not told that what is the temperature when the resistance is what 3.2 ohms. Like look at what we are told now. I said what determine the corresponding temperature when a resistance of 3.2 ohms is measured. So what we actually do here is this. So find the temperature find the temperature when resistance is 3.2 ohms right so what we'll do is we're looking for our rot when the resistance is what 3.2 ohms. That's what we're looking for. So what we we'll do here, we we'll write our relationship. Recall, R T is equals to R zero R naught into bracket one plus alpha T. Right. Now we're looking for R T. R T is what? 3.2. So anyway, I see R T. I put 3.2. 3.2 equals to R naught is giving us 1 from the beginning we have 1 into bracket 1 plus we've calculated for our alpha which is 0 0.0039 we have 0 0.0039 but we don't know what T is right so if I open the brackets I'll be having 3.2 minus 1 3.2 is equals to 1 times 1 is 1 plus 0.00390. But I take this to this point, I'll be having 3.2 minus 1 is equals to 0.00390. So this 3.2 minus 1 will give you 2.2 to give us 2.2. 2.2 equals to what 0.00390 t so if you divide both sides by t we'll be having 2.2 all over 0. 0.0039 t 
zero zero three nine is equals to t. So my t here, the t here will be giving us what five six four point one degrees Celsius. So that would be our temperature. So it means that from the beginning we said our arrow knot is equals to what one point zero zero ohms right so when you further heat it to 100 it becomes 1.39 ohms right now we now further heat it to 564.1 degrees celsius and we're now having what 3.2 ohms now you can see that as the temperature increases in the material what happened the resistance also what increases so thanks for watching if you have learned from this video don't forget to click on the subscribe button now we we'll look at example 2 it says a copper resistance thermometer has a constant arrow 100 over arrow naught is equals to 1.45 comma the arrow 0 is equals to 13 ohms Assuming a linear relationship between arrow and T, find the resistance of the thermometer. Now the solution here, solution is that the linear relationship is giving us arrow T equals to what? Arrow naught into bracket 1 plus alpha T, right? Now this is my first equation here. From here we have 100 all over arrow 0 equals to 1.45 so the arrow means resistance at 100 degree divided by resistance at 0 degree is equal to what 1.45 and but the resistance at 0 degree is giving us 13 watt 13 ohms so from here I can now say that therefore the resistance at 100 degree all over instead of me putting resistance at 0 degree I'm going to put 13 is equals to 1.45 so if I cross multiply the resistance at 100 degree will give me 1.45 multiplied by what 13 so if I multiply these two the resistance here, the resistance at zero degree will give me 18.85 ohms. Right? So from here, what I'm going to do here is this. I am going to say, I'm putting my parameters into equation one. So substituting, substituting, arrow 100 and arrow 0 that's the reason at 100 degree and 0 degree in equation 1 above so I'll be having the arrow the temperature we are measuring is what 100 equals to arrow naught 1 plus alpha 100 right because the temperature here is 100 so from here i'll say the r100 is giving us 18.85 equals to the r0 is giving us 13 ohms into bracket 1 plus 100 alpha so if i expand this my 18.85 equals to 13 times 1 will give me 13 plus 1300 alpha so if i take color like times i'll bring 13 to this side my 18.85 minus 13 is equals to 1300 alpha so 18.85 minus 13 will give me 5.85 and that will be giving me um, 1300 
how far now the 5.85 5.85 divided by 1300 is equals to what alpha so my alpha will give me 0.0045 per degree centigrade that is my quotient of what resistivity now we are now told to find the resistance at 40 degrees. This is the meter at 40 degrees. So the resistance R40 that we are looking for. Right? So from here, what we simply do here is this. We will write this and say that the R40 will be giving us R0 into bracket 1 plus alpha t. So we're looking for the resistance. So for, if we're looking for resistance at 40, at temperature of 40 degree, that means our T is equal to what? 40 degree Celsius, right? So our arrow 40, we don't know. Our arrow node, we know earlier to be what? 13. Into bracket, 1 plus. The T is giving us 40, so we're having 40 T. So from here, I will say that my R40 is equal to 13 times 1 is 13 plus 13 times 40 will give me will give me 520 so we have 520 alpha 520 alpha right but what is my alpha alpha that we solve is giving us what um 0 0.0045 right so the R40 will give me 13 plus 520 times 0 0.0045. So um, from here, the 540, the R40 will now give me 520 times 0 0.00. 4, 5. So we have in 13 plus 2.34. So my R40 will be giving us what? 15.34 ohms. So this is what we have as our answer. Good everyone. My name is Graphics. Today we will be looking at another example on resistance thermometer and the example goes like this. It says the resistances of a platinum in a resistance thermometer measured at 0 degree, 100 degree centigrade, 40, 400 degree centigrade were 1 ohms. 1.39 ohms and 2.51 ohms respectively the temperature t degree centigrade in terms of thermometric property arrow is defined by the relation arrow t arrow at temperature t is equals to resistance at temperature zero into bracket one plus coefficient of resistivity times t plus coefficient of resistivity b times t squared and I said where A and B are the temperature coefficient of receivity, arrow not or uh, arrow at temperature zero is resistance of platinum at melting point of ice, and arrow at temperature T is equal to resistance of platinum at temperature T. Evaluate the value of temperature coefficient A and B, hence or otherwise determine the resistance of the wire where T is five hundred Celsius. Now what you do is this, is that we know very well that solution here, we know very well that um, RT is giving us, the R at temperature T is giving us R at temperature 0 into bracket 1 plus a t plus b t square right now we are giving different temperature so 
when temperature T is equal to what zero degrees Celsius, then our R zero at and we said zero degrees centigrade given as what one holes. Right, it's given. So it says look at the keyword here. It says at zero degree resistance is one ohms, at hundred degree resistance is one point three nine ohms, at four hundred degree resistance is what two point five one ohms. So now we are considering the first one, which is what at zero degree. Is that the king? So we we'll substitute this value into this value here. So we are having um, the R zero, right, equals to the R0, which will be our initial temperature, so our R0 is what, 1, into brackets, 1 plus A, T is what, 0, so we have 0, A, plus B, we have 0, square, B, close the bracket, so from here, we'll be having our R0 is what? 1 equals to 1 into bracket 1 plus 0 times A is 0 0 square is 0 times B is what? also 0 so from here I'll be having 1 is equals to 1 bracket 1 because 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 1 times 1 is 1 at the end of the day 1 is equals to what? 1 that we're having here or you consider the first temperature. Now, the next thing you do, you are going to write when T is equals to 100 degrees Celsius. When T is equals to 100 degrees Celsius, then R100 will now give us. 1.39 ohms. R100 is 1.39 ohms. Then R0 is always is constant because everyone will start at the initial position, which is zero. So and that will give me what one also. So I'm going to impute this value into this equation one here. So we'll be having R at temperature 100 is equals to R at temperature 0 into bracket 1 plus the T is given as 100 so we have 100 A plus 100 square B so from here my R100 is given as 1.39 1.39 equals to R at 0 degree given as 1 into bracket 1 plus 100 A plus 10,000 B because 100 squared is 10,000. So from here, 1.39 equals to 1 into bracket. If you expand everything here, we're having 1 times 1 is 1. So let me just write this 1 plus 100 A plus 10,000 B. So we have in 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So we have 1.39 equals to 1 plus 100A. 1 times 100A is 100A. Plus 1 times 10,000 B gives you 10,000 B. So if you call it like times, I'll take this one to this side. So I'll be having 1. Point 39 minus 1 equals to 100A plus 10,000B. And this will give me 0 0.39, 0 0.39 equals to 100A plus 10,000B. I'll term this equation what? Equation 1 here. Let me call it equation 1. Or better still, I call it equation 2.
Now, the next thing we'll do again, we'll say, um, I'm going to say, when temperature is 400 degrees Celsius, arrow 400 will give you 2.51, then arrow not will give you 1. So it's constant, the initial position is constant. So from here, we put this into equation 1. So substituting in equation 1, substituting in equation 1, so we have arrow, anywhere I see T, I'll put 400, equals to arrow not into bracket 1 plus AT, the T here is what, 400A plus 400 squared B. Anyway, I see T, I put 400. So from here, my arrow 400 is given as what? 2.51 equals to arrow not is what? 1 into bracket 1 plus 400A plus 160,000 B. Right? So if I open the brackets, I'm going to be having 2.51 minus is equals to 2.51 is equals to 1 times 1 is 1 plus 400A. 1 times 400 is 400A plus 1 times 1 will give you 160,000B. So now if I take um, this one to this side, I'll be having. 2.51 minus 1 is equals to 400e plus 160,000b. So this will give you 1.51 equals to 400e plus 160,000b. So I'll call this my equation word, equation 3. Right, I'm going to call that equation 3. Now we're going to combine equation 2 and 3 together. So combining equation 1 and 2, combining, combining, equation one equation two and three so we're having zero point three nine equals to one hundred a plus ten thousand b is equation two then equation three is one point five one equals to 400A plus 160,000B. That will give me equation 3. Right? So what you do here is you solve simultaneously. Now what you do is you are going to multiply equation 2 by the coefficient of A in equation 3 and you multiply equation 3 by the coefficient of A in equation 2. So what I mean is use this 400 to multiply this everything here and use this 100 to multiply everything here so when we do that we we'll say 400 times 0 0.39 will give us 156 so we have 156 
equals to 400 times 100 that will give us 40,000 A plus 400 times 10,000 that will give you 4 million B 4 million B so this will be my equation 4 now the next one is I use 100 to multiply everything here so 1.51 times 100 that will give me 151 equals to 100 times 400 100 times 400 that will give me 40,000 A again plus 160 million 60 million 100 times 160,000 give us 16 million 16 million B I'll call it equation word 5 now if I've done that then I subtract so I subtract both of them so I'm subtracting 156, 151 will give me 5 equals to 40,000 minus 40,000 will equal out and that will be 0. Then 4 million minus 16 million that give us 12 million. So minus 12 million. So from here, there's a B here, we're going to have uh, 5 divided by 12 million equals to what? Minus B, because I divide both sides by 12 million. So we have uh, 5 divided by 12 million, that will give me negative or put it um, 4.167 times 10 raised power minus 7 because of negative b so b will now be negative 4.167 times 10 raised power minus 7 per degree Celsius so that is my b and the next thing you do you substitute your b in equation 1 above so substitute b in equation 1 above and in equation 2 above and then you put it in equation 2 or 3 which is this equation here which is this equation here and that is equation 2 I want to put my B here to get A so from here equation 2 is telling me 0 0.39 equals to 100A plus 10,000B so that is my equation 2 so if I substitute my value I'm going to be having 0 0.39 equals to 100A plus 10,000 in brackets I put my B which is negative 4.167 times 10 to the power minus 7 so from here 0 0.39 equals to 100A minus cos minus times plus give you minus so, um, 4.167 times 10 by minus 7 times 10,000 times 10,000 and that will give me 4.167 times 10 by minus 3. So, from here, if you take this to the side, we'll be having um, 0 0.39 plus 4.167. 167 times 10 power minus 3 is equal to 100A. 
two twelve uh, plus zero point three two nine so we have um we have um zero point three nine four two is equals to one hundred A. So if we divide both sides by hundred to be zero point three nine four two all over one hundred is equals to what A. So from here my A will now give me zero point zero zero three nine four per degree Celsius. So that'll be my A, right? So from here Gotten our two questions of what elasticity. Now the question that goes like is that we should find the value the value of temperature coefficient at A and B, right? At A and B, hence or otherwise determine the resistance of the wire. We've already gotten A and B now. So we want to know the resistance of the wire at temperature T. So in doing that, this is what we are going to do here. We know very well that recall RT is equals to R not into bracket one plus um, AT plus BT square. So we're looking for the resistance R five hundred. Oh we're looking for. So we're we're looking for the resistance yes of our 500 so we know our temperature here is equal to what 500 degrees celsius so from here we start the to the value we have in r500 is equal to our r naught in the bracket one plus 500a plus 500 square b so my R500 is unknown. My R0 is given as what? 1. Then 1 plus 500. A is given as 0 0.00394 plus 500 square will be 500 square will be to we have two fifty thousand to have two fifty thousand and the B is given as what um four point one six four one six seven times ten power minus seven so that is the B there so from here my R five hundred will give us one into bracket one plus so we have um, 500 times 3.0394. We have 197. 1.97 plus 250,000. 250,000 times. 4.167 times 10 goes to the power of minus 7. We're having 0 0.10418. So when you add all of them, we have my R500 is equals to 1 times give you 1 plus 1.97. Plus 0 0.10418 2 we have uh, plus 1 plus 1.97 we are having 3 from here my R500 will now give me 1 plus 1.97 Plus now this B here has a negative. Don't forget that the B has a negative from our value up here. B is negative this right. 
the negative is going to affect this here. This is negative 4 that we have here. Negative 4. It will affect this sign. This sign will turn to what? Negative. That's okay. So here also we what? Negative. So let's put in our value. Minus uh, 0 0.10. 418. So R500 will be 2.867 ohms. So this is the resistance at 500 degree Celsius. So thanks for watching. Please click, click on the subscribe button if you have found this video helpful. Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Now let's look at this example. It says the temperature coefficient of resistance A of a platinum wire in a resistance thermometer is, is 0 0.00392 per degree Celsius. If the resistance of the platinum wire is 25 ohms at 0 degree, find the resistance at Roman figure 1, minus 50, Roman figure 2, 200 degree, Roman figure 3, 800 degree Celsius. So solution. So we know that the relationship between temperature and resistance is uh, RT is equals to R0 into bracket 1 plus AT. It can be alpha T, it can be AT. So now it can also be BT. Now, from here, we know that the resistance, the alpha here, the A, is given to be 0 0.00392 per degree Celsius, right? If the resistance of the platinum wire is 25 at 0 degree, so the resistance at 0 degree is equal to what? 25 volts so find the resistance at minus 60 degrees centigrade so i is that we look for the resistance at minus 50 degrees celsius so we're looking for this the first one so we are going to impute this value into this formula here so we say that the arrow minus 50 is equals to R0 into bracket 1 plus AT. So R minus 50, we don't know what it is, but we know what our R resistance at 0 degree is, which is what, 25? Into bracket 1 plus, we know what our quotient of resistivity is, and that is 0 0.00392. Then the T here, is given to be since uh, it is 50, so it means our T is equal to what minus 50 degree Celsius. So the T here will be minus 50, right? So my arrow minus 50 will give me 25 into bracket 1 minus times plus give you minus. So we have 0 0.0039, 0 0.00392 times 50 and that will give me 0 0.196 so when you subtract we will be having this the arrow minus 50 will be equals to 25 into bracket 1 minus that will give me 0 0.804 when you subtract this 2 so arrow at minus 50 will give us um, 20.1 ohms. That's for the first one. Then the next one it says at what? At 200 degrees Celsius. So we are going to put it at R200 to Roman figure II. We're having R200. We're looking for the resistance at 200 degrees Celsius, so our temperature at that is what 200. So we put the same fit. So this will be R 200 is equals to 
arrow node into bracket one plus eighty, right? So we don't know what arrow two hundred is, but our arrow node is twenty five. That's the initial resistance into bracket one plus the constant resistivity is zero point zero zero three nine two, and the TDA is what two hundred. So from here, my arrow two hundred will give me. 25 into bracket 1 plus uh, 200 times 0 0.200 times 0 0.0392 and that will give me 0 0.784 0 0.784 so the arrow 200 will give me 25 into bracket 1 plus 784 so we'll be having times 25 so we're having 44.6 so the resistance at 200 degree celsius will give me what 44.6 hoops then the last but not the least roman figure 3 i i i it says resistance at what 800 degrees celsius we're looking at we're looking for it but our temperature at that is what 800 degrees Celsius. So we'll put my R800 is equals to the R0 into bracket 1 plus AT. So the R800 is what we are looking for, resistance at 800 degrees Celsius. The R0 is giving us 25, the initial temperature, the initial resistance into bracket 1 plus 0 0.00392 times 800 so from here my arrow 800 will be equals to 25 into bracket 1 plus we have uh, 800 times 0 0.00392 we're having 3.136 so the arrow 800 will give me 25 into bracket 4.136 so multiply by 25 we have in 103 so we have uh, our resistance at 800 degrees centigrade to give me what 103.4 volts so that's our answer thanks for watching click on that subscribe button share and like the video bye